Chapter Twelve of the Enchanted Castle. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Enchanted Castle: Fairy Tales from Flowerland by Hartwell James. Chapter Twelve: The Search for Gold. The marigold that goes to bed with the sun and with him rises weeping. Shakespeare. About four hundred years ago, travelers returning to Europe brought back wondrous tales of rich gold mines in the country of Mexico, and after a while the people of Spain sent an army to fight the Mexicans and rob them of their riches. When the Spanish army reached the city of Mexico, which stood in the midst of a great plain, they were struck with wonder at the beauty and grandeur of all they saw. Gold seemed to be everywhere. Gold! gold, gold. But not content with taking what they could get, these cruel soldiers fell upon the Mexican nobles and put hundreds of them to death for the sake of the rich jewels they wore. After this there was a great battle, and the Mexican king was taken prisoner and shut up in his own palace. But the brave people of the country were so enraged by the cruelties of their Spanish conquerors that they would not submit. Battle after battle was fought, and the people were hunted down like wild beasts. At last the king was taken out of his prison and placed in front of the Spanish army, and there, in the fierce heat of the fight, he was slain. Soon after the Mexicans fled, leaving thousands of brave men dead upon the battlefield. Their royal standard of pure gold was captured, and Mexico was conquered. Then the Spaniards returned home, leaving only a small army to guard the city. In the following summer, the vast plain surrounding the capital, upon which the last great battle had been fought, was covered with a wealth of golden blossoms. Then the Mexicans said, It is the death flower. It has sprung from the blood of our brothers slain in battle by the cruel Spaniards. But the Spaniards called them marigolds, or Mary's gold, because they said the mother of Jesus, had given them the victory. End of chapter 12